And here we go. All right, all right. We're waiting just a little bit. Hello. Alec, what's going on, man? How you doing? I'm okay. I, I, uh, I, I had a beard for a minute, and then I shaved it into a mustache. And then uh, my friend texted me, like, two minutes ago, and he was like, you just shave your mustache, so I just shaved it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so funny, everybody just like asking about your facial hair. It's like, you know, why, why is he shaving now? <laughs> I Well, okay, so the reason why, I, I decided that I was going to grow a beard while I was like doing this whole quarantine thing. Right. And then um, uh, I like, I watched this video last night, how it tells you that you're supposed to shave like a little bit down here on the sides, yeah. so it doesn't get too crazy. Right. Uh, but then I shaved too much last night. Oh. So it looks like a goatee. You had to get and it all I decided off. that was not, not, not my look. So <laughs> I shaved it into a mustache this morning, and I FaceTimed my friend, and he couldn't even speak to me. So I decided <laughs> I was going to get rid of it. <laughs> nice, man. Nice. Well, uh, where are you right now, man? What city are you in? I'm in Orange County, California. I'm in Huntington Beach. Nice, um, nice. And I'm with my parents at their house. Okay. And uh, this is where I live. Um, and uh, so I'm, I am just... I'm hanging out. I'm waiting this thing out with them. I'm trying not to leave my house. I haven't left my house in about three weeks because they're they're older. So I don't want to put them at risk. Not that I want to put anybody at risk, but right. particularly I'm worried about my family. So I, I I feel you. My mom's a little older too. Health problems. So uh, we're we're loving each other from a distance. You know? Yeah, that's it. You know, that's what so you how it has to be right now. How are you doing with everything that's going on? Doing good, man. We're doing a little rotating. Uh, I do the morning show at Q1075. And okay. um, me and some other of our hosts, uh, we're kind of rotating schedules in, in the work. And also some of us are working from home because we think the social distancing is a big thing, you know, and we want to mm -hmm. like flatten the curve before anything else kind of happens. And we want to be smart about it, just like everybody else. Yeah, I mean, you know, I just I hope that they, but I do hope it's over soon. Trust me, man. That's it. And I want That's people to thing. get back to work as well, because I know there's a lot of people who are hurting right now. So they really are. Hey, but let me ask you this, man. What do you think about how uh, times are changing? Literally, I mean, you're you're live with us, and and, and uh, a lot of celebrities and musicians as well are being live with Instagram. How do you think this is all working out, and how it's going to change uh, the way we see things in the future? Well, I think that there's a lot of positives, and I think that there's some negatives as well. I think that, like, you know, what's cool about um, I, I think it's I think it's cool that you and I can do this FaceTime, um, and also though I think it's I don't know, man. I'm not really sure. It's a, I guess it's inevitable, but right. I don't really know. I I like it because it gives me the freedom to sort of you know come on the internet and you know meet people and talk to people who are like really far away. But I think it's also important that we still maintain like you know individuality and like what makes every state special and all this stuff so I, I don't know what do you think I the exact same thing I, I think that you're able to reach an audience that you may never ever had before mm -hmm. um, I also think that it's really neat that we're having all these people watching us have a conversation just like we're just we're sitting in a room doing the same thing right and so it's it's personal but also it, it's super professional as well so it's just it, you know it's really neat we're definitely taking advantage of it. And I think we all should take advantage of it, you know? Yeah, it's cool. But sometimes I feel like it makes everything more homogenous. And it's like makes it more difficult for people to like, for example, like when the Beatles like went to India and started putting like the sitar in their music and stuff, it was like a big deal. And like, that was like the sound of India, you know? Right. And now like everyone's like working from the same splice package. And like really music, when people say like music is sounding more the same, it's like, that's actually true. Like, wow, like, okay. like, because people are recording with all the same gear and they're all getting their samples and everything from the same sample pack. And instead of, you know, everyone has like a different guitar, everyone's using the same guitar samples. So like, right. that's why, you know, on Justin Bieber's album, you hear that he, they use a sample that someone else had actually sampled in another piece of music. And it's like, oh, well, not that that's bad or anything, but I do kind of like that. I think that people, you know, should try a little bit harder to maintain, um, you know the things that make them unique using right. different instruments and doing different things and like that happens from um you know your distance geographically from other people i suppose but like right. i don't know feel like the computer sometimes gets in the way of that 
It does. Let me let me ask you, you know, we're here in Memphis. You have a huge fan base here in Memphis. Have you ever been to Memphis before? I have. And I had the barbecue and everyone says that Memphis barbecue is the best. And I will say that it was amazing with the exception of the of of of, of North Carolina having better burnt ends. I don't even know if they have those in Memphis. We don't have them. No, we don't. So, have them. OK, so I really like those. Right. <laughs> and and the, the sauce in, in North Carolina is more of a vinegar. We're more of a. And I'm into oh. that. Oh, yeah. So. But I like Memphis barbecue as well. So uh, what else has been going on, man? I mean, like while, while you're at the house, what, what do you got going on? Are you writing new music, man? Are you playing puzzles? Are you hanging out with the fam? What you got? Uh, I'm mostly sleeping. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> How about that. you? Same thing. Just kind of working a little bit and uh, hanging out with my girlfriend. And I'm learning that I'm bad at cooking. That's that's one thing I'm just learning I'm bad you know, at. We're being reminded that my mom is bad at cooking. <laughs> <laughs> I, won't tell I you see something. I see Sammy and Mo in the chat, so I have to say hi. Um, but also, I had Memphis barbecue uh, with Sammy, so that was cool. So shout out! Yeah, shout out <laughs> Sammy. We we love Sammy, man. He 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 puts all this stuff together for us. We we do we do love Sammy. They're um, they're the best. Absolutely, man. Uh, also, what's what else is going on with the uh, when it comes to you and your social media, man? What do you got going on? You got what's your favorite? Is it TikTok, dude? Is it is it the Instagram or is it Snapchat? you know what? Is it? This is my favorite. This kind of stuff because like TikTok is fun and like I get it. It's um it's not like my medium, you know. Right. I like to perform live for people. Um, like and uh, I don't I, I make recorded music, but my favorite thing is to perform live. So this is like the closest thing that I can do to being on right. stage. And so that's why I like it. Yeah, that's kind of cool, man. Uh, we had a lot of questions uh, from some of our listeners. Okay, you don't mind maybe asking some? Yeah, whatever. Some? Uh, they said uh, when you when everything calms down, are you planning on coming back here to Memphis? And that's from Allison out in Cordova. Yeah, sure, absolutely. I, I'm planning. The first place I'm going is to uh, the restaurant down the street that I see every – well, I don't see it actually anymore. I'm not driving past it because I'm not really driving my car. Right. But I just can't wait to, like, sit in a restaurant. So maybe I'm going to come to Memphis for the barbecue. Hey, we're going to be here, man. We'll take you out some barbecue joints. Okay, I'm down. Um, then we have Maddie out in Bartlett. She wants to know, since you are social distancing yourself like everybody else, dude, what are you binge watching on Netflix, Hulu, or Disney Plus, man? What do you got going on? I'm watching the news a lot. So we, we got rid of, we don't, we don't, um, we only have like one TV in the house. So oh, wow. like, yeah, so we, we, I've, I've been forcing my parents to watch the news like 24 seven, cause I want to know when we're going to be able to get out of this, um, mess. Yeah. Um, but then me and my mom watched Chicago PD, uh, and then, hmm, I've been playing Xbox. Oh, what do you, what do you play? I got Call of Duty, and then I realized I suck. So it wasn't as much fun as I thought it was going to be there. People are too good. They're way too good, especially when you go on live and somebody half your age just starts just destroying you. Like well, you I got it for the live out. feature, and I haven't even killed anyone yet. <laughs> Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe that's a good thing. Right. I, yeah, I'm not good at that. I've tried to play the basketball games, and I'm bad at that, too. So. Okay. Uh, also, uh, Cindy out in East Memphis, she wanted to know, um, what other artists would you like to collaborate with when this whole thing's over? Okay. Um, oh, you know who you know who followed me a couple of days ago on Instagram is Joe who? Rogan. Oh wow! And he's not a musical artist, but he's a he is a you know he does his comedy and he's oh, you yeah. know an artist of of a, a bunch of different mediums. But anything I could ever do, I just want to meet him. What would you ever go on his show? I mean, I'm not really cool enough to be invited yet, but oh whatever. Yeah, some, no, I'm not. I'm not, dude. Dude, he is. He's probably the coolest person out there, just just in general. Like, I'm just such a big fan. So I just I would love to just I don't even need to collaborate. I would just love to go see him do his thing at the comedy store when when all this is over. Well, I know you were on uh, 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 James Corgan, man. How is he? Is he's a cool dude? He looks like he's a real one of the nicest TV. people that I've met. Really? Yeah, like genuinely. He came into um, so. His show is um, is really awesome, and and backstage is super cool. And um, you know, I assume it's because uh, everything. You know, he probably is the one who's like, "This is how I want the vibe to be for the guests." And uh, 
everyone has like a really cool room and you hang out kind of like the whole day there and uh all the people who are on the show like are in dressing rooms next to each other so you get to meet everyone and he comes right. backstage and he can't he hung out with my mom and he was looking oh, wow. for me but my mom was in the in the dressing room so he's like oh well i'll hang out with you and then i'll come back later and he's like he didn't have to do that so it was really cool um i i really 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 enjoyed being on his show not even just like the performing part but just like the whole experience was really cool you know, I try to watch all those, uh, was it carpool karaoke's that he does? Yeah, they're awesome. Uh, oh, I mean, he gets, and the people in there too, they're, they're, they're good sports, you know, and, and singing. And he's not a bad singer himself either. Man. No, he's not. I mean, he's, he, I'm a fan of his just in general. So like it was to get to do it was really cool. And my mom, my mom loves James Corden. So it was like really cool for my whole family to be there. Right. Now, uh, I know that you, a lot of people know that you've worked with uh, John Bellion. How did that happen? Um, I was a fan of John Bellion for a while. And then when I first uh, moved out to California, I got booked on a festival, um, actually in the UK. And um, he was on the same festival lineup. And so we were actually like the, a couple of the only uh, artists from um, the US, mm -hmm. other than Tori Kelly, who's awesome, yeah, um, that were good. performing. And uh, we just bonded over that. And then uh, I went to go see him perform in Arizona. And I was like, yo, man, can I send you some demos? He's like, sure. And, uh, and I didn't hear from him for a while. And then like about a year and a half later, he's making his record. He's like, yo, dude, you want to come over to this house I have in LA and um, work on my album with me? And I was like, yeah. So that's how our friendship kind of started. That's really cool. And I'll tell you this, man, I, I'm a huge rap fan. A huge okay. rap fan, dude. And you covered Stan. Yeah, of I all did. the songs that, that, that you would want to do in the Eminem uh, catalog and things like that, why did you pick Stan and, and what does that mean to you? I just love his Eminem storytelling. I feel like no one tells stories like him, you know? And so that's why I covered that song. Yeah, and I'm the only, I'm the only male singer this isn't true but that's what i say is like i'm the only male singer with a high enough voice to sing dido's part right and you know so that's why i thought it'd be fun to try well it's pretty good because obviously getting to know getting to know you and everything about your career and things it's like oh wow i mean dude's doing this and that and then wait eminem okay hold on kids got it yeah he's okay. one of my favorite artists but but like you you know i'm listening to your music though though alec and i could be completely wrong but it seems like you kind of have an old soul man am i because i know like I hear Paul Simon a little bit when, when, when I hear that. Yeah, me. I mean, I think I do in some ways. And also, I'm like a child in a lot of ways. So, right. You know, but I, I, get, I suppose so. I, I mean, I love uh, – maybe it's because of my parents. Um, but they've been talking to me uh, like – when I was – when I was growing up, my parents would talk to me like not as like – as they would talk to me like they talk to anyone else, which – Obviously, you know, I didn't always understand everything that they were saying, but like they treated me like uh, like an equal, which I think is cool because um, they introduced me to a lot of like ideas and things um, like super early on that I feel like, you know, not doesn't happen for everyone like that. And so maybe that's why. I think that's good, though, being being a musician, just being an all around talent of knowing all different styles of music. Because you can basically, it's like a, it's like a stew, you know, put a little bit of this, put a little bit of that in something and see what happens. Yeah. I think that's really cool, you know. Thanks. Also, uh, so let's talk about Oh My God. I mean, okay, cool. what's going on with that, man? I mean, you excited about that? I mean, yeah, you know, I'm excited to, to be releasing music. And, you know, it's like a weird time a little bit right now as far as like everything that's going on. I was really looking forward to my tour. Right. Um, and then, you know, obviously now no one is really touring until October. So October is going to be the craziest touring month in the history of touring ever. You know what I mean? Like, literally no, every you, artist is on the road. Do you have any updates or anything like that? So I know it's all up in the air. Like, I get that, you know. But, I mean, has anyone – is there a timetable that maybe you're looking at? And if so, are you still going to continue the tour that you had already laid out? Well, yeah. The tour, so the tour that I was – unfortunately, I was hoping that I could go to, like, Australia and Asia around that time. Um, but now, because of everything that's going on, I'm taking the tour. If someone just commented, canceled. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> it's not canceled. It's just postponed. So I'm just moving it to October. But I, I actually just got the routing two days ago. So once we confirm that, I'm going to be able to announce, like, when the shows are, are rescheduled till. But, like, I think – I don't think there's really that many. I don't think I don't know if anybody is really touring this summer, at least in the U.S. Yeah, so. I, I think I think a lot of that's I think a lot of that's ended, and uh, a lot of the music fests now are coming back, saying that October and uh, September is when they're going to start trying to do stuff. So, 
I got my fingers crossed, man. I mean, I, I'm yeah. ready to get some music. I'm ready to go to some live shows. And, me too. Uh, should be fun. Yeah, just as a fan for me, it's also disappointing because there's a lot of shows that I wanted to see. Yeah, yeah. I, I got to see a couple of shows before um, this all thing happened or whatever. So one of my favorite bands I got to see. So I was pretty excited about that. And I know, I know your fans want to see you perform and stuff. So uh, what about maybe doing a song for us, man? You think you can do that? Yes, I can. Awesome. Man. I uh, awesome. actually happen to have my guitar here, coincidentally. So <laughs> I, like uh, I almost just hit myself in the face with it as well. Right. What, uh, what are you going to do for us, man? I'll play Oh My God for, for you guys, if that's all, all right. right. Ladies and gentlemen, you're listening to Q1075. We are live with Alec Benjamin with his hit single, Oh My God. All right, here we go. Looking at the pictures I keep on myself Cause it's been so long since I look like myself Burn another candle down Burn another <laughs> My fans are like, oh my god, no, oh my god <laughs> <laughs> Right, they're loving okay. it They have to listen to it anyways, they have to now Running low on patience, running out on fumes I'm never gonna make it Halfway to the moon Oh wait, what if I do this and I, met, and I merge it with another song? Do well? it, yeah, bro, All right. Oh wait, I could do it on piano. I'll do okay. I'm gonna do it half. I'm gonna do it half and half. Okay. Yeah, because they heard me show, play man. it twice already, so they're like, no. Okay, here we go. I'll do a different key, so I can do it like. Let's see if I can do it. Looking at the pictures, I keep on myself, cause it's been so long since I looked like myself. Burn another candle down. Burn another candle down. All right, here's the chorus. Oh my God, I can't remember who I was. Just last December, what have I done? How did I get here? What have I done? Oh my God, looking in the mirror, I was young. Nothing to fear once, what have I done? How did I get here? What have I done? Okay, then it's merging it with half of another song, so it's... California, I'll inform you that's not where I reside. I'm just a tenant paying rent inside this body, and I got two windows, and those windows will all fall to my eyes. I'm just going where the wind blows, I don't get to decide. Sometimes I think too much, yeah, I get so caught up. I'm always stuck in my head. Oh, I wish I could escape, but I tried to yesterday. Took all the seats off my bed. Then I tied my linen with five strips of ribbon I found. Scaled the side of the building, I ran to the hills till they found me. And they put me back in my cell, all by myself, alone with my thoughts again. I guess my mind is a prison, and I'm never gonna get out. That's all I got. <laughs> oh, fantastic, brother. Fantastic, dude. Sweet. That's awesome, and that's, that's really cool, you know. I, I'm looking at all the comments here, and people are just digging it. And, and what I think so special for them is that you're bringing them something that they wouldn't normally get. They're having a concert in their own home, you know? And, right. And, and I think it's a fantastic thing that you're able to even come on with us, and we definitely appreciate that, man. Oh, thank you so much for having me. Dude, you got to come to Memphis, and we're gonna get some, to. we're going to get some barbecue. And uh, I don't know if you're a sports fan, man, but we'll, we'll take you to some Grizzly I'm games. I'm a sports and... fan. I'm a, I'm a sports fan, and I would, I would love to see some sports. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, we, we can't wait for it, you know? So, All right. But Alec Benjamin, man, thank you so much for coming out with us and, and hanging out, and uh, we'll see you soon, okay? Thank you. Thanks, brother. All right, bye. Oh, hey, do me a full favor. One favor. Yes. One favor. My, uh, my music director, he wants you to say, if you could please say hi to his daughters, Callie and Bailey, please. Okay. Hey, Callie and Bailey, uh, I just wanted to say hi to you guys and uh, say, uh, thank do they listen to my music? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you guys for listening to my music. Um, when I come to Memphis, uh, hopefully I can do a show there and uh, hope you guys can come to the show and I would love to meet you guys. Thank you for listening to my songs. You're the best. Cool. Awesome, Alec. We appreciate you, brother. Thanks for your time.